with God. Everything, every, every, everything, every humiliation, public embarrassment, private embarrassment. When I tell you he worked that thing, ha, woo. Okay, let's pray. God, you are a bad somebody. You are a bad somebody, God. You make eyeballs and eyelashes, and you still know my name, God. And not only do you know my name, God, but you know my purpose. Ha! Huh? You know my purpose, God. You have been a friend. You have been a comforter. You have been a way maker. You have been a secret keeper. My God, you have been absolutely amazing. For everything, for every tear, God, you dry. For every meal you put together, God. Hey, all the times I rode on E to take care of my babies, God. God, we thank you for it all. It works for its good. It does, God. It does. Who would have thought? God, you know I'm no pretender. Huh? That's not in my nature. I absolutely adore you, God. The way you have taken care of my babies, God. Lord Jesus, I was trying to find a way. I love to hear Leandra sing, and I was like, God, you just didn't give me a voice like that. How loud, how loud can I be to give you glory, to give it back to you, God? For the ways that you've made for me and my babies? Listen, you are amazing, but take me out of this, God, and you have your way. Tell me what I'm supposed to say. I got notes. I got phones. I got all kinds of stuff. I'll say what you want me to say, God. It's in your precious, in your precious name, God. We pray. Amen. Mm -mm. Listen. Let me tell you something. I got notes and paper clips and all kinds of things, honey. <sighs> All right, so if Tina will put my good text up on the board. And if everybody can stand. So let's let's hear from the Lord. Therefore, behold. I will hedge up her way with thorns and I will build a wall against her so that she cannot find her paths. She will pursue her lovers, but she will not overtake them. And she will seek them, but she will not find them. Then she will say, I will go back to my first husband for it was better for me then than now. You can be seated. Y'all some good church folks. Take your time. <laughs> All right. So when I was deciding what I was going to say, I had this dream. And so the dream is that I see a guy I went to school with. And he's rushing past me. And he's like, hey, um, how you doing? I was like, good. Good to see you. He was like, I'm getting married tomorrow. I was like, oh, okay, that's good. That's why you're in town. Okay, are you all right? So we make small talk, and he's like, hey, come to my wedding. I was like, mm -hmm, thank you, good bro. I don't like that. You're inviting people on the spot like that, bro. Um, you know how we are. We plan the wedding. You know how many people RSVP, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> so he says, come. So I'm like, okay. So I'm going to text you. I said, okay. Give me your number, 777-9311. So I'll explain that to the children later. <laughs> so 
So he sends me a text message and he tells me, um, he's like, hey, I send the address to you, come. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. So fast forward, I leave, I call a girlfriend. I'm like, hey, come to the wedding with me. It's downtown, it's gonna be nice. We gonna get dressed. What you gonna wear? Can't be sharper than the bride. You see, what I'm sham. Gotta be, gotta be sharp, not sharper than the bride. So we agree that we're gonna go. So we talk back and forth. Women Facetime. We Facetime outfits. We do that kind of stuff. So we Facetime each other, and we get it all together. So get downtown, and I'm rubber necking. You know how it is downtown Green. Trying to find a park. We looking around. So now there's this nice little line, and I'm thinking. Let's follow the yellow brick road. We'll go down this line. Get there, and it's valet. Hey, for valet. I hate parking garages, so got valet. So valet comes. So fast forward, we get into the nice little wedding party. And it's beautiful. They got bridesmaids, and they got lights in the trees, and it's absolutely beautiful. And so we're sitting there, bridal party comes through, they got on periwinkle or something, it's nice. So, all of a sudden I realized, I don't know who he marrying. I ain't never asked who dude was marrying. I don't know. That's what we do. We show up for the wedding and not the marriage, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be going to people's stuff and you, want, you don't know the deal. Okay, so I'm wrong. Okay, I'm even wrong in the dream, so. Anyway, so when the bride comes to the door, um, I, well, it looks, I, I know her, Jackie. And I know him from school. And now take your mind, this guy is a good dude. On um, football team, he's smart, he know how to beatbox. That stuff was important, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He got, he's, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Um, but, oh, but the, what, oh, girl was doing different things when we was in school. You know, uh, she's she doing the most. So when she gets to the door, I'm like, how did you marry old girl? Like, what is going on? Like, that's a good dude. But by that time, Jackie, She's looking at me, and she looked like she want to run. Am I looking like I want to run? She's looking like she want to run. And we relate in that moment, because I've been some places I wanted to run. She walks a couple steps, and she stops. And I'm thinking to myself, this must be pretty bad for her, you know? He's a good dude. She's got a bad reputation. So if you'll put the text back up here for me, Tina, um, and I'll get to that in a second. The, Hosea is so close to what the groom is because he is just like the guy. You know, Hosea, he's... Time my notes. Good man, established. He loved his mama. He known in the community. He 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 awesome. And so let's go back to chapter one, where God speaks and says, "Got your wife, Carlos. Got somebody I want you to marry. Um, like to know what her name is. It's gone." Now, Goma is a prostitute. She's a prostitute. So she's broken. She's found her worth in several beds. And in biblical times, you was married by your sex partners. So how many marriages have we all had? Don't answer that question. Put your hand down. Don't put your hand up. Nobody put your hand up. Nobody. nobody. Everybody keep your hand to your side. Don't nobody say nothing. Don't even look to the right or the left. Right. So chapter two, when we get to um, this chapter, they're married with three children. 
And I won't go into the names, but them little children had some terrible names. They was naming them children, no mercy, and everything was bad. But um, he a good man, but she about to blow it. She can't really go. She can't really go. She is about to run. So y'all can raise your hand for this one. I need some um, audience participation. So how many of us have sabotaged the good thing? Oh, I'm not alone. I got both hands raised. Why we do that? Why, why we do that? Why, why do we get to a point where here she is, she's got some, she's got some children, he still loves her, she's a prostitute, it's not like it's a secret. He, she, 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 he already knew what he was getting. He said he loved her. Am I making noise with this thing, y'all? Okay, all right, I just don't, okay, y'all know. All right, okay, okay, all right, just check. So, uh, but she messes it up. She don't think she worthy. I don't know about y'all, but I didn't, I didn't did some stuff, because you know what I'm saying, yeah, well, I had went back to some places and some, and some, and some stuff, and, and, you get there and you don't fit in. You out there with them, they they ain't gonna feed you like like, like Jose, they ain't gonna got no thing, your cheering ain't there, you just out there, you just but I've done that. I've done that. I got saved and I ran back to some stuff. Looking through your phone, trying to find somebody number. Yeah. We sabotage it. You on Sunday, oh, Jesus, please send me a good man. Oh, y'all know that boy on that phone ain't no good man. Now, my daddy in the room, so I'm going to be careful, but you can get your tail wet anywhere, and that's all I'm going to say. Okay? Be careful. Message. I'm just saying. But we do, we go back to we go back to old mindsets. You know, it's easier. You know, um, I don't fit, but I know what to do, Angie. Yeah. Yeah. I can play the part. I remember, huh, and I'm gonna tell a quick story. Holy Spirit be telling you to tell stuff that I don't plan on telling y'all. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, I was dating this guy and he was just dumb. <laughs> I don't like dumb dudes. He's just dumb. Like he ain't read no newspaper. He just didn't know nothing. And there I am sitting up there with him. And so something comes on and he don't know nothing about it. And I was like, hey, what are you talking about? That's not how that goes. And my daddy is a history history man, and my daddy is CNBC all day long, so you have to know a little bit about what you're talking about. And he made some outlandish statement, I didn't turn the cookout out, the people's looking at me sideways, but here I am. Here I am. Making my own pasta. I didn't pick him. I'm sitting there with him. He can't get me out of a brown Paper bag, wet or not. And there we is, together. And some of us marry them jokers. And I ain't gonna talk about nobody. I'm just saying. I ain't gonna and I ain't talking about y'all, I'm just talking about somebody I know. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm just I'm just saying. So I think we think things are just too good to be true. You know, I think we think things are just too good to be true. You know, here he is offering her a great life. And I imagine that them kids, you know, I was thinking, them kids, there's some kids, he is. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have thought that. I might have been on one. Okay. He had three of them. She was always leaving. I just wanted to know. Okay. Okay, back to my notes, because y'all giving me all kinds of crazy looks. <clears throat> so, 
oh, here's what I like. It says, I will hedge up her way with thorns. He hedged up my way. I mean, I'm stuck. I got stuck. Now, don't get me wrong. I got some. I got stuck by them thorns, but he hedged up her way with thorns. So, when I think about a path, because it says, "I will build a wall against her so that she cannot find her path." When I think about a path, I think about something worn. It's worn because I've been there so many times. I've, I've gone through there so many times. I know that the clothesline hang low, so I'm going to get clothesline if I go through there too fast. I know where the dog is. I know everything. So, but, but he said, I'll hedge up her way with thorns. So he put thorns there, and I still got stuck, and I still went to the path. So I'm from... Nice little field crest village. Whoop, whoop. Right. See that? There you go. And so you could get from Joe Stowe, and it's not Joe Store, it's Joe Stowe. Right. It's Joe Stowe. Right. You can get from Joe Stowe all the way to Nickeltown, yep. ain't nobody seen you. Okay? Right. You can get all the way from the bottom court all the way to Beck. Tanners right. had a cheeseburger and everything. Ain't nobody know where you was going. Nothing. That's a good path. That's a good path. But notice how, as our neighborhood started to change, the police started barricading, yes, the, the neighborhood off. Because we was getting, we was just doing stuff, and then we just get on up. I did, dip, there you go, Tim. We was dipping. We was dipping, for sure. But now, if you knew you was from there, you just get out the car, because you still can find your way. You can still find your way. But what I think is so awesome about this is that he's trying to protect her from herself. I got to protect some people from me. Them thorns weren't enough. And so, I mean, they should have been. I'm all scratched up, you know, bleeding. They should have been enough, but they weren't. She's running, she's following the same path, she thinks she's unworthy, she's out here, she's trying to get to what? The thing that she wants is at the house. It's the thing you prayed for, thing you asked God for, send me a good man, send me a good woman, and they at the house. And so I think we think that the good thing, and the pastor teaches us that good means agreeable. And not agreeable with your tail. Agreeable with God. Because we're because that because the person that God places in our life is supposed to make us better. He's supposed to make us better. Yeah. So, like Gomer, I run, I ran, and yeah. What I thought was interesting about Gomer was that she had visible consequences. I got uh, three little visible con four, hey there, sweetie pie, four little visible consequences there myself. And so, how many of y'all are mothers to boys? Let me tell y'all about y'all. <laughs> it's hard to date y'all babies. It's hard to date y'all babies. Hard to date y'all babies. Because at 15, I have, yeah, at 15, I have Charlay. Now, I work. I take care of Charlay. She's my visible consequence. <laughs> She's my visible consequence. So you go over there, and I ain't got the baby with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the baby with me, Key. But you saying, ain't that girl got a baby? Yeah, the girl, the girl do. The girl got a baby. Yeah, she sure do. Well, you don't need to be buying no pampers and milk. That joke ain't got no money to buy no pampers and milk. 
He ain't got no money to buy no pampers and milk. And ma'am, I don't plan to stay here too long because he's not smart either. Hello? Mm. Why are we playing? But I'm 15 and she's my visible consequence. So everybody that I run into thinks that this is who I am. This is who I am. This is who I'll forever be. But that little girl stepped, kept me from going up fool's hill. That little girl gave me responsibility. That little girl gave me purpose and a fight I never experienced in my life. I never fought so hard for somebody in all my life. And so it didn't, it feels like you think it's a bad thing. So then you meet their mama. Mama number, mama number 467. You say 467? I like boys. I, you know, I like boys. You know what I'm saying? I thought they were great. I still do. I still do. So not only do I have this good baby, and I'm young, I'm also from the hood, and so you just disqualify me. And so like Gomer, I'm running. And I ain't going to nobody church. I ain't going to nobody church. Because every time the baby cry, y'all come get the baby. Like, I ain't had the baby all this time. I didn't had the baby. I know what the baby want. Y'all come get the baby like I just ain't got no kind of cool about myself. I dress the baby, the baby that give me that baby. You don't know what you're doing. You're a baby yourself. And that's true. And that's true. But you going to go home with me? So you got to let me take the baby, the baby mine. But it made it hard to think that a guy was interested in you. Because when you're pregnant at 15, You've already had sex. There's my visual consequence. And so you think that we're just going to be giving stuff out of each drop leg once, you, once we get together. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir, we are not. I'm saying, my mama said, them boys going to think, because you done gave somebody some, you're going to get everybody some. And she was right. It was a soul train line. People all over the world at my door talking about you think my eyes is pretty and you think my hair is pretty. No, you don't, Joker. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. So it made it hard to believe my worth. And it made me disqualify myself. And so I didn't go off to school. I'm disqualifying myself. And so the voices become louder than God. Yes. They become louder than God. Yes. And so if the loud, if the God's voice is supposed to be first, but all those other things got to me first. So when somebody say, you going to get up and preach, I'm like, no, I'm not either. I don't know about you people in CYM. In fact, I'm sitting in the back. What time does pastor start to preach? That's when I'll be there. You people hug too much. Okay? You're running up on folks. You want a hug. I'm just going to come here to see the good pastor. I bid you a good day. I ran. I ran. I ran. I didn't feel like I was worthy. And I'll say this to my good pastor. <clears throat> I got into a situation where I was getting ready to take the thorns, build my own wall, run, and possibly have on a nice little jumpsuit. Oh, y'all act like y'all wasn't about to, y'all ain't never had. <laughs> yeah, I see y'all? Okay, amen. I got some friends in the house. Yeah, yeah. I was getting ready to have on a nice little jumpsuit. I had told a good pastor. I didn't know him that well. I said, listen, <laughs> that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to do this and this. And just call the police right after that. He said, Irk, don't do that. I said, why? He said, don't do that. He said, 
She said, what about your name? My name ain't never meant nothing. What my name mean, Jack? Huh? What my name mean? Mean I'm 15, I got a baby. By now I got four babies. What my name mean? I ain't got no formal education. What my name mean? Hmm? All I'm doing is raising kids. What my name mean? I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm worthy. I'm Goma. I ain't got no business looking at her at the end of the aisle talking about, uh, uh, I'm looking at her like I can pass judgment. We do that. And so I'm looking at her, but she's me. And so every good thing that comes in my life, I don't think I'm worthy. I sabotage it. And pastor said, take my name. If your name has never, take mine. I said, <clears throat> listen, I don't want your good name. I'm going to keep this one and go on tear it up. Yeah. I'm mad. And I want somebody to cue the music. We're going to play the big payback. You sold me out for chicken change. Had it all arranged. Hey, but he gave me his name. And when he did that, it made me realize I was going to have to act better. But I didn't think I was going to be up here. <laughs> Thought I was going to start maybe a nice little prison ministry. God loves us, and it took me up till I walked down them steps to realize it. He loved me, Angie. That's unbelievable to me. It's unbelievable to me. But since April and I lost my mama, when I tell you I can call his name and he show up, like, like a cha-cha slide, I'm like... <laughs> I'm walking the floor at night. He like, go to bed. Uh, go to bed. Or you got giants to slay in the morning. Go to bed. I was like, God, I don't feel like I'm worthy. Why you love me? Why you talk to me? Why you with me? Why you stay with me? Why you don't leave me? Everybody else left. What? Why, why you love me? You remember that baby I had? I had another one. And then she, I had another one after that too, guys. And I had one more. <laughs> they said, I love you, Eric. You got something to say. I said, what you want me to tell the people? I said, just be yourself. I said, nah, I don't think that's going to work, God, in the good church house. But he takes the thing that we love. Second row. Now, I love all y'all. Don't get me wrong. But this is your second row right here. My God. Lord, have mercy. I ain't never loved nobody like that. I ain't never loved nobody like that to push past every insecurity that I have. I ain't never, 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 never loved nobody like that before. I gave that thing everything I had. I pray for them. I got saved. I got. I put both feet in and my arms. Forget that hokey pokey. Let's get this whole thing together. They looking at me. I had no, no idea. He used my love for them to push me. And even when I told him no about this, he said to me in the car, hmm. This is for your children's children's children. I said, wait, wait, wait now. Wait, now let's put let's put that together. Let's get this tree together. That's Jackson's babies. Oh. 
Y'all know I love Jackson. God, right? Make you square your shoulders. The most powerful thing about this is, y'all, and that I had to realize is that I've made this harder than it was supposed to be. Jeremiah 29 and 11 in the ghetto message Bible says. <laughs> Love a good ghetto message Bible. You know what I'm saying? Say, when you quit playing, when you quit playing and come seek me, looking for me diligently, you will find me. And I won't disappoint. That means, listen, you can pop your collar. I got you. If you come over here and holler at me, I got you. But if you faking and you pretending and you fronting, stay over there. Stay over there. I've been Goma. I've been a runaway bride. I've gone to some old places, some old people. I have been scared of what my future looked like. I can do this, but the thing that I can't do is what I can't see. It's been better with God. It's been better with God. And not not in a spooky sense, y'all. Like let's not be let's not be so churchy that we be doing, we be saying stuff to people because you be mis misrepresenting God. It ain't easy. It's just better. And I got a friend. So it's like a sidekick that ain't going nowhere. And so, I, and Jemaya was talking earlier at church today, um, Minister Battle, and he was saying, you know, you, you just have to move your feet. And when you move your feet, he starts to talk. But he don't talk till you move your feet. I'm scared, but I'm going. Um, I, want, I don't want my babies to have the things I have to fight. I don't want Jackson to have their things. He deserves better. He do. But more than that, so do I. So, God is saying, Ursula, that's me. Azaline, pass it and put all my business out here. You know what I'm going to have to do to these people to get them to stop calling me Azaline? <laughs> so, Ursula, Azaline, do you accept this forgiveness and promise to quit rehearsing old habits? I do. And Ursula, do you take ownership? Huh, I don't want to read it, Lord. Do you take ownership of this purpose? I do. Do you accept this love, peace, and acceptance that God wants to offer you? I do. But I don't want to go by myself. I want y'all to go. I don't know if I asked my mama if she was saved. I think I just believed that she was. I don't want to make that mistake with y'all. I don't. And it's not in a spooky track, give you a track kind of thing, Brandon. I love you, by the way. Yeah. It's not a spooky thing. And my, I'm, now, I'm not going to be listening to Mahalia Jackson after this, so don't y'all be, you know. <laughs> this thing say, be your whole entire self, so me and Mahalia don't get down like that. But I want y'all to go with me. I want y'all to go with me.
want y'all to go with me. I do. Um, if y'all will bow your heads, close your eyes for me. Um, I could never stop the things that I thought I could so that I could come to God. No matter how much I tried, I couldn't, I couldn't stop the self-doubt. I couldn't, I couldn't stop those things until I found a savior. You need a good counselor, but you need a savior. You need both. Don't let nobody fool you. We make this moment a private moment. So nobody's looking. Nobody's looking but me. And I ain't looking so I can call you and tell you how you messed up. I'm just trying to acknowledge your hand if you want to raise your hand. If there's anyone who wants to stop running with me. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you need a good running partner, but I don't need one like that. If there's anybody in here that can hear my voice and you'd like to stop running, you raise your hand right where you are, and we'll walk it out. If you don't know him, if you ain't never heard him, don't know nothing about him, huh? to be honest with you, anything is better than what you're doing right now. I love you, and I don't want to go without you. I don't want to go without you. That thing makes my voice tremble, but I don't. It scares me that I could not see you again. Everybody in this room I love, from my first best friend to my coworker that I dance with to my youngins, everybody in here, I love you. No hands raised, and that's okay. That either means we all are saved or we all are lying. And either way, that's not, that's not for me to contend with. What I'm asking God for is time. And if that means I give you one of my days, I'm okay with that. But I'm asking you for time, God. Father God, you have been absolutely awesome to me. Even in my hardest, darkest moments, you have been a savior. You rest, rule, and abide, God. We love you. And we thank you for this moment, God. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>
challenges to overcome just to be here. You've been diligent. You've been studying. You know our minimum requirement at CYM is that you have two years in UBI. How many years were you in? A whole lot of them. Okay. I was just, I was just a continuing education service. <laughs> we can roll you right in the staff now. <laughs> but I'm proud of your consistency. And God released you when you were ready. You will grow in this. Quit moving away. Come on, buddy. You're backing up. I'm not going to ask you to do nothing. Okay. You will grow in this. This is just the beginning. You did this, and, and I know this to be true. You did this tonight in doubt. Yeah. I can't wait to see you do it in faith. <laughs> As you spoke of unworthiness, thoughts of that was going through your mind as you were up here. But please know, Earth, our worthiness was settled in Calvary. Amen. Your worthiness was not settled here. Yes, sir. It was settled 2,000 years ago. And He called you. wonderful work for God. Thank you. You believe that? Yes, sir. We believe that. Thank you. So without further ado. <laughs> that's your big brother. He's excited for you. We all are. This plaque reads certificate of license. given to Miss Ursula Peace. And these are the same words we read for our deacons, but they're also appropriate for you. Having been chosen one of a good report, full of the spirit and of wisdom, and capable of using the office well, we set apart publicly to the office and work of ministry. By changing your mind ministries on this 20th day of October 2019, Senior Pastor myself. Ursula, I proudly hand this to you. God always knew it. We finally recognize it. I present to everybody here today, Minister Ursula Peace. <laughs> Come on, let's celebrate it one more good time. What I want to do, what I want to ask you to do right now is... The Bible says as long as the earth remains seed time and harvest, and you got to find good places to sow. What I'm going to ask you to do is not sow into this ministry. We don't want a dime of this. We want you to search your heart, say a quick prayer, and we want you to sow into Ursula. Ministry is difficult. It requires a lot. She needs some tools. You know, it used to be she needs a good Bible and Concordance, now she needs technology. And so I'm going to ask you to prepare from your heart an offering to give to your sister. I'm going to ask that you all please stand and be a blessing. Now is not the time to be stingy. Let's show our love through action. Our ushers will begin to lead you from the rear. They'll give you some instructions as to how to come if you will follow their instructions. And again, be a blessing to the sister to let her know how much we believe in the work that God is developing in her. And as we, as, after I pray, you'll begin to move. We'll pick the pace up with the music a little bit. April said, do you have a cash app?
if you want to do a cash app, it is the dollar sign U R K L O C K Urk Lock U R K L O C K. All right, Father, we thank you so much for blessing us with another warrior to stand on the wall. One you perfected through time. One you've already begun to heal and still have a work of completion to go through. But thank you for sending her forth in the vineyards. Your word says the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. You've given us one more laborer. Master, continue to awaken the gifts that you placed in there when she was in her mother's womb. Give her the courage to walk through it. We take these seed and we sow them into her that she might be encouraged, that you might give her the wisdom and how to use it, that you might be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Ushers, if you will lead the people. You'll have a time to greet Ursula afterwards. so kind and generous at this time we're going to have some remarks the first set will come from her girls if they would join me up here and I'm also going to ask her daddy to come on up here and stand with them as well we're going to hear from the family hey man can we give them some applause as they come home And I want to thank you all for coming out to support my mother, Minister Ursula Lockhart Peterson. To say that I am proud is an understatement. Who knew your keen intuition was the Holy Spirit the whole time? <laughs> you have to use that voice within you to raise me and my sisters to be whole and guide us through life hurdles. You have experienced many things in life. to get here and I'm impressed and encouraged because of you thank you minister where <laughs> minister who <laughs> y'all thank y'all for being here but honey a whole butterfly like they have no idea they have no idea. Y'all are getting just a, a morsel of what we get on the regular. <laughs> Do you hear me? Text messages, phone calls, FaceTimes. Yeah. All your life. We are inspired. Yeah. Not even proud, inspired to do. Yeah. 
I'm reminded of a conversation we had. I don't know. Like, I know, I know. I know. Well, I, the, um, I'm reminded of a conversation we had maybe a year or so ago where you were trying to encourage me to do, right? Charlie, why are you scared to put your application in? Why are you scared to do this? Why are you scared to do that? And we had the conversation about you doing, that you always told me I could fly, but I didn't get to see you fly. And honey, when I tell you, you done turned it around. She was out here with wings. Ah. I'm so excited, Ma. I love you very much. First of all, my, my running partner. I say that because uh, when she was born, I went to the hospital and we were going to show you the baby. I went over and looked at the baby. I said, Said, that's yours right there. She looked quite. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I digress. Okay. <laughs> but who knew within a year her mother and I would split? Now, you know, you always hear the anguish about the woman having to raise a child. But you don't know what that does to a father that wants to see his child every day. And I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. So we ran around with each other. I had got loose when I went over to some of my buddy's house and we were smoking grass. <laughs> she knew everybody. I coached baseball for six years. She knew all the boys, knew all my buddies. She knew them right to this day. Move on, I guess about 12 years, 12, 13 years later, I moved to Charlotte. Now, oh, I'm already an absent father. Now I'm moving away. So I left my little precious jewel in Greenwood, South Carolina. She told me she was pregnant. And like all fathers who had a wish for their child, I could see her going to college. She was so intelligent and doing all these things. All of a sudden, I'm pressed with a dilemma. So I go, and we're having a conversation, and I brought up abortion. Because I'm going to tell you, at certain times, you kind of forget what the master has told you is the right way to move. Oh, but this little sweet thing here, she told me, say, Daddy, you always taught me to do this, right? I'm going to have this baby. And I think sometimes what that would have been like if that little flower down there hadn't came into the world to brighten and bring light to it. You know I love you. You know your family loves you. You know we'll support you in whatever you I, I am so proud of you. You always had light. Your light ain't never been dim. I told all my girls, don't let no man take your light. It might get dim. It might get dim. But don't let nobody take your light. I'm so proud, baby. I'm overjoyed. For an old man on the other side of the mountain. Hey, look here. It's a blessing. Thank you. <laughs> I love Mr. Mack. Me and Ursula both got nervous over there. I was like, hey, Pop, Pop, hey. Truth be told, what we, what we need in the world is we don't need a whole lot of pretense and show. Times are too hard to play. 
We need somebody to just tell the truth. Am I right about it? So one last time, we're going to let her have the mic to close us out. You did good, girl. <laughs> Minister Ursula Peter. God bless you and good night. No, I'm just kidding. So, oh my goodness, y'all. I got so much to say and nothing at all. So, quick background story. My shirt says, be your whole entire self. And that came from my sisters. And if I could get my sisters to stand up. Y'all still here? Okay, there you go. Amen. We have a saying, when we are wanting to be ourselves, can I be my whole entire self? It's a family thing. But it has given me wings. I love y'all. Y'all cry, baby. Sit down. Them, them mugs are crying a minute. <laughs> but if I don't get a chance to tell everybody, thank you. Because it's late and y'all old and y'all got to go work in the morning. You know how y'all do. Everybody got to go. But um, I love y'all. Thank you for the prayers, the text messages, everything. Y'all have been absolutely awesome. Y'all have. Ham came from Columbia. Just, just blessed my whole life. People I ain't seen except on Facebook. We ain't going to talk about it. Shannon, I seen you over in the, I saw Shannon in the car. Hey, I, huh? Yep. But um, it's good to see y'all. It really is. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Who? Yessie, where? Yes. Where you at? Hey, listen, that's my brother. I didn't see my brother. Oh, thank you for coming. Okay, I ain't gonna cry because I'm a cry baby too. All right, we're gonna close out in prayer. Lord, thank you. Mm, you've been awesome. Thank you, God. Thank you for just being amazing, God, for turning pain into purpose, for turning dark into light. I had all kinds of doubt, God. When I tell you, you put a kickstand in my back and got this message out, I had no idea, God. I give you everything, God. Bless everybody in this room and the families they're attached to, God. Meet them where they are. Meet them where they are and don't leave them there. May they grow and prosper. May they make this world better. May we be the village that we talk about, God. Make us big, God. Increase our capacity. Put thorns in our path, God. We love you, God. Thank you for my pastor who has put up with my side eye and my smart comments and me telling him what to do. Thank you, Lord. God will put everything you need around you. If you just get up and look for him. When I tell you I'm looking for that mug, time I get up, he plants goodness around us. All around us. God, keep us safe. Keep us safe, God. Protect our men. Protect our men, God. Protect my nephews. Protect my brother. Protect my deacons. Protect my uncles. In a world that doesn't seem like they love them, God, protect them. Thank you. God, you are wonderful, and we thank you. In your son Jesus' name, amen. You are dismissed. We are, invite you to join us in the back where you get a chance to greet Ursula and talk to her and enjoy some cake and some punch and some good things. Thank you all so much for coming out. God bless you. <laughs>